All right, guys, so welcome back to Photographics Academy. In this one, we're going to be learning how to fully retouch your light skin model. So if you look at this image, you're going to notice that she's really, really, really light skinned. And it sometimes becomes a problem when you are having to work with a light skin. Because if it's a black model, for example, all these pores, all those blemishes that you are looking at, most of them will be hidden. You may not even have to touch it, but you know, of course, when you are working with a light skinned model, you have to take care of them. If not, it's going to mess up the whole thing. So when you need to work with your light skinned model, what do you need to do? In this one, we're going to be using our Retouch Academy to get the job done our beauty retouch academy to get the job done and i'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step guides on how i would approach this image and get the best i want out of it the first thing we need to do of course is to take care of some of the blemishes that we can take care of now then maybe later we can do the rest inside our frequency separation so what is the way to take care of these blemishes let me show you a very fast trick that you may not be aware of so i'm going to create an empty layer of course we can use our blemish remover our pass through and all of that but there is a trick that i just found out that we can use to fix our blemishes and even sometimes retouch the image and get a very clean result so i'm going to be using my mixer brush to to achieve that make sure that your sample or layers is turned on when you are doing this trick so just zoom in on your object, target those areas that have blemishes and just paint your brush over them. So look at that. Immediately they are gone. Let me show you. <laughs> look at the result the before, the after. So just take a few minutes and do this round the whole body where you have the blemishes you want to take care of. So look at mine. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is after. Now I know you'll be wondering, but does this the image looks waxed? It looks like uh, she doesn't have skin textures anymore. And of course, we'll have that covered. So make a duplicate of your background, right? Then drag it all the way to the top. Go to your filter, change the blend, go to other high pass. So I'm keeping it somewhere around one. Change the blend mode to linear light and hold your alternate to clip it down. So immediately you restore your texture. So this is one of the newest tricks on how you can fix your blemishes. So I'm going to match it up and now it's time for our frequency separation. So I'm going to be loading up our 8-bit frequency separation because the image is 8-bit image. So I'll keep it somewhere around three because I want to also have some smoothness, really proper smoothness on the image at the end of the day. So I'll press OK and immediately our frequency separation has loaded up and we have our layers down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my low frequency, right click on it and convert to a smart object, right? Then go to your filter go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. So now I'm going to increase my blur until I have the kind of smoothness I want to have in this image at the end of this. Probably I'll keep it around 10, then press OK. Hold, uh, right click on my, you know, my smart mask or my smart filter, then press Ctrl I to invert that mask. Then pick up my brush, and start painting over my skin. So this immediately gives us a very smooth, beautiful look over our image. All right, so once the job is done, this is the before, this is the after. Now, the next thing we need to do is to do our dodging and burning because we need to also bring back dimensions into the image and have her, uh, you know, have some glowy skin. So I'm going to load my dodge and my bun, pick up my brush, make sure I have, you are painting with somewhere around five to three. So in this one, I'm going to turn off my frequency separation so I will see exactly where the highlights are and where the shadows are. 
So I'll just make sure I make the highlights to keep shining brighter and brighter and make shadows, you know, to get a little bit dimmer so that when we turn on our frequency separation, we have all those restored where they were originally. So of course we need a little highlights here over the face like this do the same thing over here brother face like this then our shadow behind it look at that dark tone paint your shadows in here do the same thing over here paint your shadows in beautiful okay so we'll come to the forehead we need some highlights over here Same with our shadows, darken the whole surrounding area. Beautiful. We can actually use our shadow to create, you know, this kind of edgy contrast around the edges so that when we do the before and the after, you could see the dimensions showing up properly. Then, of course, our shadows needs to come into the nasal roots over here. So our eye, neck up, same thing here. Then pick up our dodge here needs to, here needs to get brighter and of course here as well same thing over here was here as well so you might as well need to do a little dodging and burning for your lips so make here to shine look at that shine do the same thing over the top of this one pick up your bone darken the upper lips then darken the part the lower part of the our lips so we'll have something like this so we'll go to pick up our dodge still come down to the body area look at that color bone over there so you make it shine with your highlights do the same thing over here see the neck bone look at the shines all over the spaces beautiful then pick up your bone layer repeat the same thing for the shadows okay so the highlights on the arm Okay, so we are done. Now we can turn on our high, our frequency separation, and we have a very clean image. Let me group the dodge and burn together. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So now you can decide to reduce it a little bit and we are good to go. So the last thing we are going to be doing is to try to match the whole skin tone together so that both the face and the body will have exactly the same skin tone across all of them so how do we do that just so to do that just make a duplicate of your object so select the subject now our subject is selected we we'll have to right click and go to select inverse now we'll duplicate our background there right click on it and select layer via cut so the reason we did this is because we want to have our object on a separate layer and our background on a separate layer now we can introduce a solid color adjustment layer press ok hide it then open it up again so we need to use any of her skin tone as our main skin tone so i'm i like the skin tone on the lower part of the body yeah because it looks more uh, close to a natural skin tone so we'll press ok go to your object layer make a duplicate create a mask for it then go to your select go to color range so the idea now is to make sure we select just the skin not the whole image so once you click on any part of the image move over to your plus icon and immediately just start adding to your selection so once you have all this the skin tone selected you are good to go so relatively we'll have everything selected except for the tiny area over here which i do not want to touch because of the head so press ok that area we can use brush to fill in later so drag your mask and use it to replace that of the solid color now if we turn it on you will notice that our solid color is just on the skin where we wanted it to be so pick up your brush and paint in this area that we are missing then change the blend mode to color. So the moment you change the blend mode to color, it's going to flatten out the whole skin and give you a very uniform look. But of course, you need to bring it down. We'll have a very uniform skin tone. Now we can also make a duplicate and change the second one to soft light. 
So soft light is going to allow us to restore some saturation back into the image like that. So I'm going to match everything up together, load up my actions. Now the, the last thing we are going to do is to apply our done for you retouch action on this image just to give it that final touch and final look. So I'll be keeping my Gaussian blur somewhere around three and I'll press OK. Whoa, this is beautiful. And once it's done, just reduce the opacity and you have a clean image. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we we'll drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.